they rise up to 100 meters above the ground. The diameter of the rotor is equally large. The windmills are grouped together in farms, in locations with steady winds, on land or at sea. The power of the wind is transferred via a drive shaft and gearbox to a generator. The current is transported down the tower. Transformed to high voltage and sent on to the power grid and on its way to power homes and businesses. Luckily, the wind always blows somewhere in the world. There is no end to the amount of renewable, pure energy it can give us. This is the the new one. Basically, I've got this arm here holding the timing mechanism in place. Sorry, this tri tripod's fighting with me. 
Anyway, um, as this, this is the timing mechanism here, and as this uh, rolls past here, it connects and disconnects for that. So, so that's that. That was way too hard to make for what it looks like. But uh, here, all right, I'm about to plug it in and uh, see what's up. Okay, since that timing mechanism right now is disconnected, I've got all my connections hooked up to the battery. This is just a test for the rotor. This is uh, this isn't actually creating any uh, electricity at all. So, so this is just a test to see what's what's going on with this. So, you can see there's some sparking over here. But it runs pretty quick. It's uh, not too bad. However. You look over here though. That's smoking. And we're on fire. Okay. So anyway, and then you can hear how fast that's switching there, so. Made out of plywood, nuts and bolts. Um, I've got magnets that I've used. Boom, yeah. This right here, teeny tiny, quarter inch, quarter inch diameter, half inch uh, length, neodymium magnets. There's about seven to eight pounds of pressure on these little suckers. Um, so I just loaded up the wheels, uh, every 10 degrees, 36 magnets in each wheel, 36 magnets in each stator, and um, <clears throat> slap three of them together, offset them, um, I don't know what degrees I offset them, I just staggered them so that they were staggered evenly. Um, and it, it kind of works. The, uh, it doesn't work by itself, obviously it's sitting here lined up and it's not spinning, but it it helps. It is it'll it'll assist. It, it doesn't take hardly anything. Once it's moving like this, it doesn't take hardly any pressure to uh, keep it spinning. Now, well, what good is this? Obviously, I don't know. It, it's not gonna it's not gonna create uh, energy and power by itself if it won't spin by itself. But I don't need it to spin by itself. I just need it to assist. Or let's say a smaller motor. Uh, that can then therefore turn uh, a larger generator head. Uh, so we're making it over a Unity device and not necessarily a, a totally um, free energy device, but yet, but yet it, it's still, I mean, it's still free energy because it's over Unity and you're making more, than you're, uh, you're making more energy than you're, than you're using. So um, I'm going to show you what I've done is I've attached a teeny tiny little fan motor that I had right there. Um, I think that thing pulls like 60, 65 watts. Okay, it's a, it's a little fan motor. Took it off the fan, slapped it on the end of my axle, and I'm going to show you what kind of results I can get out of this thing with just that. Let me set this back down. There mm. we go. We good. Can you see that? Zoom in a little bit. All right, hang tight. Plug it in. <clears throat> Got to get it going by hand because obviously there's not enough torque in that tiny fan to get this thing going by itself. So, get it spinning a little bit. Flip it on. Give it another little little helper outer. All right, I want you to, you see that thing's moving pretty good. <clears throat> I'm gonna be quiet for a second and listen, you can hear it speeding up.
so you can see you can see a little bit of the wobble in the uh, in the wheels. Like I said, it's not we're not talking about precision equipment here, folks. We're talking about plywood, a couple of nuts and bolts. I'll show you what I I did it all right here with this little pile of tools, table saw, okay, drill. Sander, sawzall, jigsaw, drill bits. All right. Now, my my rotors and my stators they don't line up perfectly. My reveal the gap between the two is huge. Uh, let's not go and focus here. I mean, I've got a half inch there, you know. Like that could be so much closer if it was more, you know, if it was more precise. But I've got to leave uh, leave room to compensate for that, you know, for the wobble in the in the in the in the rotors. But so many more things that I could that I learned along the way that I that I'm going to change on the next one. That's going to allow me to get this much more precise and accurate and, and get more efficiency out of it. But you see that little tiny fan motor has this setup moving. Now I was trying to count the best I could. Probably getting about six to seven rotations every second, which means 30, uh, I mean 360, uh, 420 RPM, something around there, with just that teeny tiny motor on there. Okay. So what I've done is I've ordered a three-quarter horsepower electric motor. It draws 900 watts. Um, it spins at 3,600 RPM, which is the RPM needed to get maximum wattage out of your generator head. And I've got my generator head right there. 5,500 5, watt generator head. And I'm going to hook those two up and uh, draw 900, produce 5,500, and um, pump the other... 4600 watts back into my house and um, hopefully drastically decrease or totally eliminate my uh, electric bill and um, once I once I get it working I'm going to uh, try to start building these and selling these until the the man comes and shuts me down so <clears throat> you've seen it you see what it can do. I told you what I'm gonna do, and I'll give, make some more videos and update you as I, uh, as I when I get the get the new motor and stuff like that in. And uh, if I uh, if I disappear, you know what happened. See you later.
En el caso del estator, debo decirles que, a diferencia del diseño de Perender que tanto nombran, yo en el estator no, no tengo, no en todos los lugares tengo imanes. En algún punto no hay, y en otros sí, pero ya eso me, me distancia terriblemente del proyecto Perender. Con respecto a las barras, sería lindo aclararles que por un, por un tema de diseño pura y exclusivamente, en obediencia de vida al diseño, una de las barras es magnética, la otra no. La otra no lo es. Este es un motor que tampoco lo confundamos, es un motor tengo una balanza digital justamente que la pongo aquí, porque es un motor que no está, no es tan liviano como parece, esto no es todo plástico, esto es un motor que está pesando 7,100 kg, un motor que tiene su 